Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and after so many years I decided that I'm going to retire my Raspberry Pi which is my main Node-RED server and I'm going to replace it with something which is a little bit more powerful. So you can see my Raspberry 4 set up on the screen and it has a bunch of different things. I was playing with Modbus so it has Modbus converter. There is the RF link uh, below and I'm replacing it with a small micro PC which is an Dell Optiplex 7040 Micro. And the main reason I'm replacing this because, uh, well, uh, it's not really a reason. This Raspberry Pi has been running really, really nice for the last, I don't know how many years. Uh, well, actually I know because I have this habit of including the um, year in the password for everything that I use. And the password for this machine is, well, it has 2014 in it. So this has been running for almost eight years. And uh, in that eight years, it never failed me. It never, you know, crashed. I never had to replace the SD card. So it is running from the same 32 gig uh, Samsung. I think it's a Samsung Evo SD card. So it definitely lasts for seven years. But I want to play um, a lot more with data. Um, you know, work with Grafana and InfluxDB. And even though the Raspberry Pi, this is a 3B+, plus, uh, should be able to handle that, I already have a lot of flows and, you know, deploying changes gets a little bit too slow. And I was just ready to inf in invest in a new hardware. And um, actually, I wanted to buy one of the Intel Nooks, but maybe because of the chip shortage, um, I was just waiting for stock and it just never happened. And then one of my friends suggested me that what if I just look for a micro PC and I can also get micro PCs uh, from, you know, old refurbished stock, which was probably used in uh, offices. So I started looking around and I actually found this model. So this is the Dell Optiplex uh, 7040. I don't think I have the M version. I'm not really sure what the, which one is the M version. And it looks like this. Uh, you can see it on the video as well. So it's a really small form factor. Um, it has a, well, you can get it in, in various configuration. I have the smallest one, which is uh, an i3, Intel i3 Gen 6. So this is definitely not new. Um, I asked the seller and he said that it's uh, somewhere between three and six years old. So I'm guessing, you know, I'm replacing an eight-year-old Raspberry Pi with a probably three to so six-year-old uh, Intel. But I think, you know, that, the, um, you know, Dell is probably going to run for, um, you know, many, many years. I don't think it's going to be less reliable than run Raspberry Pi. It has eight gig of uh, RAM and, uh, yeah, maximum 32. And it also has a 256 uh, um gigabyte m.2 uh, ssd and for the whole thing i paid around 190 euros or thereabouts so i think it's definitely wasn't expensive um i mean if you you know spec a raspberry pi with a proper power supply and if you had uh, the um, sd card it's definitely going to be cheaper but here you know i'm getting 256 uh, storage 8 gigabytes of ram and well definitely this is an i3 intel i3 so there's going to be a lot more uh, um, you know grunt in this one and you can you know read the rest of this pack on the screen and it also has quite a few different ports um, so if you look at the picture so it has a couple of USBs on the front and a few more USBs on the back. One of the newer models, I think the 7050, also has uh, a few USB-Cs. And by default, it comes with DisplayPort and HDMI. And I have an extension here uh, populated, which has another DisplayPort. So it was probably used in a two-screen setup or maybe a three-screen setup. And the reason I wanted to do this video because um, I started a new document, which is the Node-RED server setup. And if you want to build something similar, you know, use um, like a small Intel machine for Node-RED, then I think this is going to be a good document. So I uh, decided to install Debian 11 because I was told that that's going to be the closest one to Raspbian um, because I don't have an awful lot of Linux knowledge. So I thought, I want to do. I want to use something which is as close to Raspbian in terms of you know how you use commands and the apt get updates and that sort of stuff. So this was the reason I. Well, that was the main reason I I choose Debian, and um, actually it turns out to be very very simple. So as you can see, I've documented everything. 
how I installed Debian, how I installed Node-RED on that, um, what are the different changes that I made to Node-RED, mostly to the settings.js. I mean, these are the things that I usually do on my Raspberry Pi, how I installed Canvas, because this is something that I really like to use. And of course, I'm planning to migrate all my existing flows to the new server and just retire the Raspberry Pi. So um, to keep the existing functionality, I wanted to still use SQLite. And for that, uh, I also needed PHP Lite Admin. I got a little bit confused uh, and I also installed uh, my PHP Admin, even though it doesn't support SQLite. So anyway, I mean, if you don't want, you can skip that step. And once I had these installed, I also added MQTT with the usual settings, for example, setting up authorization. And, and finally, I installed InfluxDB and Grafana. This is absolutely new for me. I haven't used any of these before. The InfluxDB setup was just a very straight setup. Uh, I just followed the installation page and it is working. I was able to create my first database and put some data in it using the command line interface. And Grafana is also up and running. I probably need to spend more time configuring. Uh, for example, I haven't um, you know, set up any access to InfluxDB yet. So probably I need to do that. And on Grafana, I haven't done much configuration either. For example, data retention and that sort of stuff. But uh, at least I'm happy that these are working. And I'm thinking, I think the next step is going to be that I go back to my Raspberry Pi and I'm just going to go through each of my flows and probably going to note down how I'm going to migrate them. Like um, if they have um, uh, file paths in them, directory references, uh, some settings that I need to obviously change because they are, you know, I'm, I'm not using the Pi user in the Debian. So for that reason, you know, slash home slash Pi is going to be different. And um, probably there is going to be a few more other things. So one thing I know I'm going to lose is I'm using the built-in um, Bluetooth in the Raspberry Pi 3 to access one of the MiFlora soil sensors. So I won't be able to do that. So I have to set, um, build a separate sensor for that. But I'm hoping that everything else is going to be, you know, fairly easy. Probably the most thing I'm afraid of is how easy or difficult it is going to be just to reconfigure this uh, device on the same IP that uh, the Raspberry Pi uses, because obviously I have a lot of uh, ESP devices around the house and they all have the, you know, the MQTT server um, defined with a fixed IP. So I definitely need to migrate this device back to the same IP. And as I said, one of the reasons I wanted to install InfluxDB and Grafana because I want to play more with data, probably, and this is one of the reasons I also built this 16-channel uh, Modbus current sensor to MQTT. So I am going to install this current sensor to various circuits in the house, and I'm hoping that I'm going to use, well, I'm going to store the data in InfluxDB, and I'm going to use Node-RED uh, to... I don't know, play with some data science and analyze time series data and then maybe create some sort of smart triggers on, um, you know, Node-RED discovering that something is happening, something unexpected is happening on my circuits. So this is my first uh, things that I would like to do. And of course, uh, I just want to play around Grafana. I have seen so many great stuff and, you know, how to use the dashboard and visualizations and just... Uh, you know, visualize data uh, in general. So I think that's going to be fairly interesting. And probably another big task is how I'm going to migrate my existing data uh, from uh, SQLite into InfluxDB because I just checked and one of my uh, SQLite file is actually 700 megabytes. So it does have a lot of data that it has collected in the last probably a good five years. I'm not sure I was the, you know, I installed SQLite first time when I installed the Node-RED, but it was probably, um, you know, right in the beginning. So I'm pretty sure that it has probably like, you know, a good seven year worth of data on solars and a lot of other things around the house. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm, I'm going to include the link for this uh, GitHub wiki in the video description. So this would probably get updated. Probably one more component that I'm going to install is uh, PyVPN. 
that I'm using in my existing Pi as well. So I just want to keep the same functionality and I should be able to use that even though this is not Raspberry Pi anymore. And at least I remember how I configured it so I can, you know, hopefully configure it uh, in the same way as the, you know, the current VPN is configured. So that's the plan. Um, I will definitely make some follow-up videos once I get the migration up and running and you know hopefully everything is going to be fine and I will be able to just port all my existing function to the new server and uh, just uh, you know retire my Raspberry Pi and use it for something else. So I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.